Last year alone, there were more than 570,000 unemployed veterans. There are many factors that contribute to that struggle that our military face when they stop serving and return to civilian life. But the good thing is there are organizations that are helping, including the Military Veterans Resource Center. So I'm happy to welcome their communications officer, Abby Reynolds, to the show. So welcome, Abby. Yeah, thank you for having me. Happy to be here. Absolutely. Let's start with the basics. People who've never heard of Military uh, Veterans Resource Center, tell us what you do to help vets. Absolutely. We are a private 501c3 nonprofit organization based here in Columbus, Ohio, but we do have um, four other four other locations across the state. And we provide personalized services to veterans in need, um, primarily career-related services and supportive services. But um, when our new vets come in for the first time, we like to emphasize that we're gonna be giving them a personalized experience and they're gonna be matched with a veteran services specialist who will work with them through every step of their transition. Okay, so yep. you provide a lot of services. Can you take mm -hmm. us through just some of the things you can do? Absolutely. Um, like I said, career services, a lot of our veterans are job searching, so we have a variety of um, services that address their needs in that respect, such as resume assistance, helping them translate their skills and experiences for employers, um, help obtaining licenses and certifications that they may have for, serv for um, experiences they may have gained in the military that they can now apply to civilian life. but. Um, what we see often happening is veterans will come in and say that they need, oh, I need a resume or I have an interview next week and um, they'll start talking with our veteran services specialists and it turns out that maybe they also need food assistance because they're on a tight budget. Maybe a spouse is also job seeking and um, we try and sit down with them and um, address make a plan help that addresses all of those um, barriers that they may be experiencing. We'll get them the resume, but we'll also get them whatever else, the um, assistance, whatever else they may exp be experiencing at that point in time. And you mentioned during that, the spouse. I mean, mm -hmm. you help the family, we help the not family. just the veteran, right? Absolutely. Um, our motto is, is whatever is best for the vet, we're gonna do it. And a lot of times that means um, helping a dependent of a veteran, helping a spouse. So we'll get them the assistance they need as well. And, and some of the things you say, um, I know we've, we've heard often, unfortunately, is they have trouble sometimes translating the skills, mm -hmm. but they have the skills. Exactly. Is that kind of what you guys do? You're that middle person to help them? Exactly. Um, what we like to say is we address the communications gap between civilians and employers, because there's a lot of employers out there who are interested in, in hiring veterans and being military friendly. And so um, what veterans need to do is set themselves apart as a candidate and show the employer what they can do. And so we'll give them the tools and the training that they need to help apply those skills for an employer. So there is a, a constant need really for what you mm -hmm. do. Absolutely, we have um, 900,000 veterans in the state of Ohio nearly. Um, so we have the sixth largest veteran population and a lot of, out, of them out there are looking for jobs and more veterans are coming home every day. So make it, just making the transition. So definitely um, the services are needed. Mm -hmm. And one of the services you also provide that you kind of mentioned is food assistance. You mm -hmm. have the MVRC Food Bank. Yes. So what's that all about? Absolutely. That's one of um, the most, become the most important services actually in the last few years that we offer. Um, like I said, a lot of veterans don't really, might not want to say right away that they need help with food. And once they start talking with our specialists, it comes out that, yeah, they, they need help with groceries for the week. So we, uh, we partner with Mid-Ohio Food Bank and we offer an emergency food assistance bank and we can give them um, a five day supply of food for enough for the veteran and every member of their family um, for the entire week. So we, um, we encourage you if you need food assistance to come in and connect with us, bring your DD-214 and we'll get you that service. That's amazing. And I was I was reading about it and I think you got a pretty good donation even earlier this month. Yes, did we did. <laughs> We're very excited. The, um, the Girl Scouts of Ohio Heartlands Council, they um, made a generous donation of 350 cases of Girl Scout cookies to us. So we're sending all the vets who come in for food needs um, home with Girl Scout cookies. And it's just um, an extra special treat for um, the veterans, especially the ones with children. And we're so thankful that the Girl Scouts thought of us this year. Yeah, that's a pretty good yep. treat, I would say. <laughs> yep. All right, let's talk about the Veterans Car Career Workshop because mm -hmm. you have one coming up. And, you know, just kind of tell us why veterans should attend this, even if they're not thinking about it right now. Absolutely, yeah. Um, we see veterans at every step of the career transition coming, those who are um, just about to make the transition, those maybe who have had other careers after the service and still are looking for job satisfaction. Um, we can help you with whatever, wherever you are in the transition. And it is from this Wednesday from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. And it's gonna be run by our veteran services specialists. And it's a great opportunity to 
brush up your resume, um, get the interview skills you need to talk with employers, and also a great opportunity to talk, network with other veterans going through the same thing as you are. So. Okay, Abby, yep. we're running out of time, but I oh, want to yep. mention you've got Vets Golf Free coming up as well, right? Yep, the May 16th, Military Appreciation Day. It's going to be at our golf course in Chillicothe, Ohio. So visit our website, and we'll have all the information there. And veterans and military service members were golf for free. Okay. On that day. Yep. Perfect. Your website is up a great place to start. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me.